Throughout their lifetime, coyotes can play one of three different types of roles. Uh, these roles consist of what's called a resident coyote, a transient coyote, and a disperser coyote. So let's go through each one and kind of explain them. And knowing this can make a lot more sense when you see a particular coyote. You can kind of figure out perhaps what type of role it's playing. So the first one is the resident coyote. That's the coyote most people are familiar with. They're in one area, they have a defined territory, and they live their whole life there, basically. They're there every day, they're there year-round. Uh, now, within that larger territory, which they'll defend and protect, is a smaller core area that's about 10% of the territory. If you think in terms of a person, okay, the, the territory where you live, it might be the state you live in, or perhaps, you know, the town, and maybe the next town over. Uh, but then if you look at the core territory, that's going to be your house and your grocery store, uh, your church. That's where you're going to spend 80% of your time. And that's the way it is with the coyote core territory. It's where they spend 80% of their time, and it's only about 10% the size of their larger full territory. So the next one we're going to talk about is the transient. That's the most interesting, I think, of all the roles a coyote can play. A transient coyote is a single coyote. It lives by itself, and it continually moves throughout its life. It's like, think of a person being on a camping trip. They camp for a few weeks in the Winnebago, they go somewhere else. Then they do it again and again. So that transient coyote, research shows, spends between about 10 and 50 or 60 days in one area, then it just picks up and moves a few miles and does it again in another area. They have a very high survival rate. Um, a resident coyote has about an 80-90% survival rate. A transient maybe about a 60-70%. to 70%. Um, So they're pretty good for moving so much in different areas at survival. Uh, because they're an older coyote, they've been doing it a while usually, they're smart. Uh, but it's nature's way of making sure, there's a reason for that role. Nature is making sure that any time an alpha male or an alpha female is removed from a population, that there's another adult coyote that can move in there quickly and fill that role. So let's say a coyote is killed right before breeding season. If there wasn't a way for nature to get another adult coyote that would breed in a short period of time, that alpha male or female would have to wait an entire year until it cycled again and they could breed. So it's pretty neat, pretty ingenious of nature the way it does that. Uh, research shows that like most coyotes, over 80% of transient movement is during the darkness and transients typically prefer to travel alongside roads or in harvested fields. Probably because it's much quicker and easier there isn't like going through the woods and having to go around obstacles. So harvested fields are really nice for them. It's like a, a highway, so to speak, or a power line where they can just go real far without much effort. And along roads is a great food source for mice and uh, rodents and other type of things. So it's probably why they're, they're traveling in those areas. But that is the transient coyote. And then the final coyote is a disperser. Uh, disperser coyotes, it's just a short term uh, role that they fill. It's a young coyote that's just been kicked out of mom and dad's territory. Uh, coyotes will remove their young, um, their young pups, uh, young adult, I guess, coyotes um, after a few months usually. Dispersers usually head out somewhere between like October and January. The alpha male will no longer let their young pups are they're growing young adult coyotes eat food. It will literally chase them away, uh, starve them, so they get the idea and they leave. And again, that's nature's way to make sure that there isn't any inbreeding going on. And those coyotes are young and dumb and they're going to look for their own territory, so they have a higher mortality rate. So that's a little bit understanding there of the different roles that they take from the resident coyote to the transient coyote, to the disperser. So I hope that if you see a coyote in the future, or many coyotes, hopefully, 
you can kind of think about these roles and perhaps try to figure out, you know, why did I only get a coyote on my trail camera for two weeks and I never saw another one there? Well, perhaps it was a transient. So hope that helps. Thanks for watching.